After a few hymns, as usual on a morning Sunday service, the church speaker slowly walked to the pulpit to preach. Within few minutes of usual preaching, the speaker said that he wanted to close his preaching by telling a short story. A father and his son and his son's friend went sailing into the Pacific Ocean for enjoying their summer vacation on their private boat," said the church speaker to begin his storytelling. Suddenly a storm approached and blocked their way back to the land. The waves were so violent and high, even though the father was an experienced sailor, he could no longer control the boat so that the three of them were thrown into the sea. His son and his son's friend were crying and yelling for help. The preacher paused for a moment and looked into the eyes of the two teenagers who were listening intently to the story. He continued. The father grabbed his only lifeline from the boat. He had to make the most difficult decision of his life. He had to choose which child to throw the lifeline to. He only had seconds to make a decision. The father knows that his son is a follower of Christ, and he also knows that his son's friend is not. The struggle that accompanies this decision-making process cannot be compared to the violent waves. Then the father screams, I love you, my son, but on the other hand he threw the rope to his son's friend. By the time he pulled his son's friend over to the side of the boat, his son had swept away and disappeared into the waves in the darkness of the night. His son's body was never found again. At that time, two teenagers who were sitting in the front, waiting for the following words to come out of the speaker's mouth. The father knew that his son would enter eternity and be saved by Jesus. And he could not imagine his son's friend walking into eternity without Jesus. Therefore he sacrificed his own son. How great God's love was, that he does the same thing for us. After that, the speaker returned to his seat as silence filled the room. A few moments later, two teenagers sat on either side of the speaker. Interesting story, but I don't think it is realistic for a father to risk his son's life just hoping that his son's friend will become a follower of Christ. Yes, you are absolutely right. A big smile graced his face, and then he looked at the two teenagers and said, Of course that's unrealistic, isn't it? But I'm here to tell you that story opened my eyes to what really happened when God gave his son for me. You know what my friend, I have a secret that I didn't tell anyone. Actually, I'm the boy's friend from that story. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life.